My name is Payal and I am from the Management Study Guides content team. Welcome to the course Constructive Feedback. Let's go through the course objectives. What is feedback? Using constructive feedback. The 10 tools of giving constructive feedback. Challenging feedback situation. Receiving feedback. Continuously improving your feedback skills. Additional aspects of constructive feedback. And carry on with constructive feedback. Bob is working as a graphic specialist with Sigma Designs. He joined the company six months ago. Bob reports to his supervisor, Sam. Sigma evaluates its employees every six months. They use five parameters. The company expects all employees to excel, to exceed expectations on all these parameters. Let us see how Bob measures up in the eyes of Sam. Given below is the performance report of Bob. As you can see, his deadline management needs improvement, his graphical impression is average, accuracy needs improvement, punctuality average, communication average. The performance of Bob is way below the company standards. Sam has to effectively convey this to Bob and motivate him to reach the desired level. Sam's feedback to Bob. Here, Sam is giving feedback to Bob. Look at the below conversation. Sam, hi Bob, have a look at my evaluation of your performance. I would like to review this with you whenever you're ready. Bob, hi Sam, we can discuss it right away. Sam, Bob, on deadline management and accuracy, you are falling much below your colleagues. Your handling of these two items has to be considerably toned up. Bob, I agree with you that I have fallen short on these two. But you have to consider the situation from my standpoint. I am unable to manage more than two jobs per day. I am assigned three or four jobs every day. This leads to my missing the deadlines and a fall in accuracy. Let's look at Sam's analysis and solutions. Sam, yes, let us first review all the other points. Then, definitely, we would analyze in depth what we could do to solve all your issues. Bob, sure. Sam, regarding the other areas, graphical competence, punctuality and communication, there is a slight improvement, but still there is a lot of scope for improvement. Bob, since I am using my own transportation, I often start very late from my home and arrive late by 20 to 30 minutes to the office. Sam, I advise you to use our office transportation. Then you can reach here on time or even 15 minutes before. Now, Sam offers various solutions to Bob towards performance improvement and his career growth. Sam guides Bob. Let's find out how. At the end of the healthy feedback session, Sam and Bob agree on an action plan. Sam promises Bob to equip him with an experienced and a skilled mentor who will help Bob to effectively work along with his teammates and meet the set deadlines, suggests ways to simultaneously manage more than two projects without compromising on the quality, guide him to improve the graphical quality of his designs, ingrain in him the benefits of being punctual to the office, improve his communication. What Sam did is constructive feedback identifying areas which require improvement, skillfully indicating them to Bob without hurting his ego and providing solutions for empowerment and career growth. Not only Bob, Sigma Designs benefits too. Bob now has a clear idea of improving his skills and achieving not only his objectives but also the goals of the organization. Constructive feedback benefits the individuals and the organization. Let us now learn more about this valuable corporate tool.